Meng Lama. This is the weekly highlight news of video and YouTube. I'm James. Here are the news highlights for this week. The acting president of the National Unity Government, His Excellency Duala Shila, attends the 88th Uprising Commemoration Day. The Union Minister for the Ministry of Human Rights, Uau Miumiu, welcomes the standing of the Timor Leste Prime Minister. The political prisoners from Thayawadi Prison got seriously injuries and coma due to the beating and solitary confinement. The US Embassy and the Norwegian Embassy issued a joint statement on 88 Uprising Day and other interesting news. These are the weekly news details. The acting president of the National Unity Government, His Excellency Dua Lachila, attended the 88th Uprising Commemoration Day held on 8 of August. The acting president highlighted that from the 88 People's Uprising to the current Spring Revolution, many people have given their lives to end their military dictatorship in the country. In order to repay the heroes for their sacrifices, we must repay their gratitude. Making the Spring Revolution a complete success is the best way to repay gratitude to all those who gave their lives during the democratic revolution. It is only through winning a complete victory that we will be able to repay the heroes who sacrificed their lives for us. Additionally, the IT president found to continue to promote the revolutionary cause until the victory in the Spring Revolution, which is the combination of the 88 people's uprising. The Union Minister for the Ministry of Human Rights of NUG, Uau Miumi, stated on Twitter August through his social media network that he respected and welcomed the standing of the Timor Leste Prime Minister. The Timor Leste Prime Minister will work to improve the development of democracy in the ASEAN region and against the military dictatorship. The Prime Minister also said that Timor will not join ASEAN as long as there are military dictators in ASEAN. He also urged ASEAN to find a solution to Myanmar's affairs. The Malaysia president invited the National Unity Government to attend the swaying in ceremony of the new government. So, the Union Minister for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of NUG Dose Ma'au and the representative of NUG for Czech Republic, Ulin Tan, attended the ceremony. The Chi National Council Mintel officially announced the formation of the Chi National Council Mintel on 16 of August, according to the statement. A national political leadership group is urgently needed to define and implement policies for the future Chi National people, such as establishing national programs, guaranteeing based on federal democracy, creating one's own density and equality. The Chi National Council Mintel was established to develop and implement policies. Political prisoners at Thayawadi Prison suffered major injuries and went into a coma as a result of the beating and solitary imprisonment. The incident was reported by some witness political prisoners who were released a granted amnesty from Thayawadi Prison. According to the witnesses, Kudandu Aung, CDM captain and other 16 political prisoners were beaten in solitary confinement locked up in front of the prison ordination hall with a 6-inch cane on their ankles and 4 and 5 forms of sentence. Kudan Duang and 4 others were beaten and placed in solitary detention. Later, they got coma and brought to a prison hospital. As the official stated that he is a leader, Gudan Duang was sent in the jail hospital in an emergency condition without medical treatment. And one of the physicians in the prison stated that Gudan Duang had a blood clapped in his skull. The US Embassy and the Norwegian Embassy issued a joint statement on 88 Uprising Day. The Norwegian Embassy in Yangon issued a statement for 88 Uprising Day. It has been 35 years since the period of Myanmar staged the historic 88 Uprising to realize the democratic future of the country. Today, 
people are still striving for the freedom and democracy that they have lost since February 2021. Now we stand by the people of Myanmar for their democratic aspiration and human rights. Similarly, the US Embassy in Yangon also issued this statement regarding the ADA uprising 35 years ago on 8 of August 1988. Millions of people in Myanmar demonstrated for an end to years of isolation, lack of democracy and economic hardship and other military rule. Though the military violently cut down on the protest now known as the 88 movement, those demonstrations continue to inspire calls for democracy in the wake of the 1st of February 2021 military coup. Today, we remember the 88 pro democracy movement and the Myanmar people's decades-long struggle for democracy and peace. The United States joined the people of Myanmar in their pursuit of freedom and cause on the regime to respect the democratic aspiration and human rights of, of people. According to a report released by UN OCHA on 10 of August, ongoing armed conflict and extreme weather are continually to drive displacement and humanitarian needs across Myanmar especially in the northwest, southeast, Kachin and Rakhine. In Kachin state, around 500 villagers from Pamo Township were displayed after the heavy deployment of Myanmar military forces to the areas since 3rd of August. In Sakai, more than 9,000 people were displayed and homes were destroyed in Tamu Township after intense fighting that took place in late July. Artillery shelling and landmines in northern Shan State and the Ninai region reportedly led to the death of the Chai and injuries to four civilians, including two children. According to the latest figure of the United Nations as of 31st of July 2023, more than 1.9 million people are displaced across the country, including nearly 1.6 million people displaced by conflict and insecurity since 1st of February 2021. These are the weekly highlight news of Radio and Ritchie. We will present more interesting weekly local news to you. Thanks for joining our news.